Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Firing Business Performance. Jim Blassingame, he's the cyber king of small business. Search Google for small business expert, and he's tops on the list. I guess that makes you number one. He's number one on Google and number one in our hearts. Aww. He's Jim Blassingame, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34, after the hour. Thanks for being part of my day. Always a pleasure to continue to be part of yours. And I'm very excited about our good friend, Dr. Ivan Meisner, being back on the show. Ivan is a more than 14-year member of our Brain Trust. He's the founder and the chairman of Business Network International, BNI. Though many of you know that organization very well. He's the author of so many books. I have to have help bringing them into the studio, including... Truth or Delusion, among others, and uh, Masters of Success, Networking Like a Pro, etc., etc., and he is our good friend, Ivan Meisner. Welcome back to the show. Hey, it's always great to be on the show. Good to have you back, Ivan. Thanks for being here. Um, the One of the things that, that I talk about on the show a lot, Ivan, is running your business, managing your people, getting as much out of them as you can without creating a casualty list. And you but you take that one step further. You've been you've been talking about not only not creating a casualty list, but doing things that improves their health and well being. And you got some ideas on how well, how we can do that, right? I do, because I, I had some challenges uh with my health a couple of years ago. Yep. Uh was diagnosed with the prostate cancer and mm-hmm. uh uh, basically changed my diet completely. He's uh, doing very well, too, by the way, folks. I know you'll be glad to know that. Go ahead, Ivan. Y- y- yes, indeed. Uh, I um, went into remission about a year ago and was just, just got a report about six weeks ago that said uh, that I fell within the normal range. And it's I did so, all of it through... Yeah, go ahead. The, I was just going to say, the only thing that scares me about that report, Ivan, is I never thought of you as normal. That's the only problem. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that aside, uh, it came off really good, and uh, it, I made all of the changes. Basically, there were changes to my diet. I did no surgery or radiation or chemotherapy, mm-hmm. and so um, I, I started looking at my office. And my wife and I, uh, my wife's a uh, sports nutritionist, uh, mm-hmm. and, and so we were looking at my office, and we realized there were probably a lot of things that we could do at the office to uh, make things healthier a healthier work environment for our employees, and we came up with a list of five things that we've uh, begun implementing in our office and recommend that other people uh, implement uh, in their offices. And the first one is about all about water, isn't it? It is. Uh, I, I, one of the things that I went to was uh, drinking a lot of water. I was told to drink a lot of water before yep. I didn't. Uh, I kept telling my wife, um, <clears throat> hey, listen, Diet Coke is 96% water, so you know, that, right. should be, that should be fine. But, <laughs> You know, she didn't buy it, but it didn't matter. Uh, yeah, I, was, I, I stuck to my soda. So um, one of the recommendations we have is just to install, install a, a water filtration system uh, for both hot and cold water in the office so that people have access to pure water, and not, uh, not plastic bottles. Right. Uh, two, two things going on there. One is either buy a filter or be a filter. Right. So having a filter uh, on, on the water is good for the employees, but more important, importantly, the uh, plastic bottles, which we um, used to serve up a lot of plastic bottles mm-hmm. of water at our office, um, there's chemical leaching, which right. mimics estrogens, right. the BPAs. And the BPAs um, create uh, some real health issues, especially if somebody who had the kind of health issue I Right. Had. High estrogen in men is, is one of the contributors, of, 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 of can be a pro- contributor to prostate cancer. It absolutely can. Yeah. And what happens with those plastic bottles is when they're out in the heat, uh, you have the chemical leaching take place. So it's, if they're, you know, if you know for a fact the bottle's always been in a cold environment, it's fine. Yeah. But uh, if it's not in the heat, uh, you have this releasing of the BPA. Right? We have a we have a water uh, uh, we have a company that brings fresh water in a in a dispenser. You know, we and we have that here to drink. For years and years, we didn't. 
but a few years ago we 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 put it in and uh and i you know i use it we use it every day all day all the time yeah and so that's the first thing we recommend and um it, you know it, one of the things somebody told me a long time ago ivan that that really made an impact on me with regard to drinking water i i've been drinking water instead of tea for example at, at a meal i've been drinking water for for 30 plus years uh, and and this doctor said to me, don't forget, every chemical process that takes place in your body takes place in the medium of water. Mm, yep, absolutely. So very very true. Yeah, and and preferably in alkalinized water, um, especially if you have a health issue like I had. Uh, alkalinized uh, water is uh, better. And I was drinking at first a lot of acidic water, like sparkling water. Ah, yeah. Interesting. Alkalin- alkalinized water. That's the good yeah. stuff. Quick break. Right back. We've got more of this to come from our good friend, Dr. Ivan Meisner. I'm Jim Blasting Game. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.